Hey, what's up folks at home? We understand some of these projects have been a little too advanced, so we're gonna take a step way back and tackle a project that involves no programming or electronics knowledge necessary. Kind of. Today we'll be using SparkFun spectacle boards to help wave goodbye to the MITI video series. Aw. That was really sad. Bye. So here's what we'll need for a proper good buy. The SparkFun Spectacle Director Board, the Spectacle Button Board, the Spectacle Motion Board, some servo motors, some TRRS cables, and some micro USB cables. And you also need a computer to upload the code from. The Spectacle lineup is great for beginners and professionals alike, including artists, cosplayers, uh, people that go to Comic-Con, uh, artists, it includes boards like the motion, inertia, light, sound, uh, buttons, audio. I'm probably bombing these names. Here they are. The SparkFun Spectacle lineup is designed for ease of use. No soldering, programming, or electronic skills necessary. The greatest part is you can upload from anything with a headphone jack and internet connection. Internet connection. Like your smartphone when you're on the go. Today we'll be using the button board to control a goodbye-like motion to these servo motors. Whoa, 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 wait. I didn't even have time to invite Olive. Can, can someone send in the cat? See, look, you're as tall as Deborah. Can you hit the button? Oop, sorry, bud. Do you like it? Configuring is easy. Simply head over to the Spectacle web app and launch a new project. Right, bud? Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead and write a few details in the notes section. Olive, come on. Down at the bottom, we'll need to click Add Board and add any boards that we are using for this project. And make sure you have them in the order that they're plugged in via headphone jacks. Today, I'll add button and motion. The button board accepts multiple buttons with just two wires, or you can use the built-in buttons on channel 8. This means no pull-up resistors or pull-down resistors. First, our inputs. Under button, we will add an action. I want the hands to move anytime I press one of the buttons. I'll add create an action on press and say when the appropriate button number is pressed, control a specific channel. Here, button 1 and channel 1 to keep it easy. Back on our main page, we can add an action to the motion board. I'll say toggle position. This way the servos have a back and forth motion on every button press. We'll listen to channel 1 and control servo number 0 and wait 0 seconds to move 180 degrees. Then we'll wait 1 second and move to 0 degrees. To upload, simply pull up your volume and follow the app's upload process. When the green LED flashes 3 times, then pauses, press install. With a cardboard hand attached to our servo motor, whenever we press this button, it'll move back and forth. Hi, Olive. You wanna come up on the table again? If it... Guys, much more information can be found from Nick Poole over at SparkFun who has extensive information and who has helped develop this product. They have extensive tutorials on the two boards I'm using here, as well as all their other boards. So if you don't know any programming and you have to build some cosplay or a simple project for your garage or whatever it is for your cat. Sorry, bud. Okay, I'll put you down. Go check out their website. They have tons of information. I really appreciate everyone tuning in and keeping this series alive. I have to go on to other things in my life and put this aside, but hopefully I'll be seeing you soon. Say goodbye, Deborah.